which means that you can't um, be 100% sure that the seer is what seeing what the seer thinks they're seeing, because uh, you know one is going to be a false positive. So that's probably the strangest thing if people haven't played with that before, because normally the seer is like you know ultimate source of of truth, and with a lichen, then they're not. So un mm -hmm. unless well, yeah, there are all sorts of things have to happen for you to figure out that, oh, the person that the world's designated as the mystery lichen is now out of the game. And then you can go, go forward. But by then, usually the seer has been outed and they're going to leave the game anyway. So, And all before right. we start, I want to make sure uh, when we get our role via the private chat, what's that going to look like? An image of a card, a description of the role, or a name? So Give us a description. Be... Okay. So yeah, so I can provide uh, in each of them. It'll take me a couple extra seconds, but it's no major because I have. I, all I just need a description. That's it. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I can provide that description for you. It was like I said, it'll take me a couple minutes. So I'll send you in a private chat the name of the role and a brief description. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we are going live, everybody. So welcome everyone to Ultimate Werewolf Extreme with some really awesome players. Uh, welcome all of our players. Thank you very much for participating. Um, I know that Ted can be intimidating, but uh, so glad to have everybody here. Um, I'm going to be in the chat watching uh, and communicating with people, talking about uh, I'm also going to be on the Discord, so if people are, need messages sent, I'll be sending them in the game, and I will be communicating to people. So if you guys want questions answered, you have questions about what's going on, a role that somebody mentions, a power somebody used, please feel free to put it in the chat, feel free to put it in the Discord channel. Um, I'm going to be monitoring both and answering any questions you guys have. So I'm going to turn the floor over to Felix, and Felix is going to give you guys a rundown of what a game is going to look like, and then uh, get us kicked off. Absolutely, guys. Okay, so in this game, we're going to have 12 players. Uh, in having 12 players, we are going to have a special werewolf, a regular werewolf, and a dire wolf. Uh, so let's talk about those first, and then we'll talk about what's in Team Good, and the rest of the group will be villagers. So in this game, there will be a dire wolf. The dire wolf on night zero is going to pick somebody uh, who is their beloved. If for some reason that person that is the beloved of the dire wolf dies, they will also die of a broken heart. So an example that Patrick is the dire wolf and he picks Chris Ray um, as his chosen companion. If Chris Ray ever dies for any reason, Patrick will die of a broken heart. The next wolf role is the pet wolf. The pet wolf is a new role. The pet wolf, when they as night zero, will pick somebody. However, when the pet wolf dies, that person dies of a broken heart. So they're kind of inverse with each other. Uh, did we just lose somebody? He's coming back. He just put it in the chat. Oh, yeah, perfect. he added audio issues. Marty just got real intimidated and decided this was not for him. <laughs> Let me out of here. He was a werewolf anyway. Yeah. <laughs> One second. Came back with a vengeance. It's funny. <clears throat> If only we could have all hidden before he came back. <laughs> awesome. And he is back. Awesome. Uh, so the pet wolf uh, is a, a special wolf. They're obviously, if, they're, if they die, their companion dies. Um, of specific note, um, if the dire wolf is the last wolf uh, left, uh, they kind of shake that off and they no longer are held to that restriction. So if they're the only wolf left, uh, they, they, they are more interested in winning for their team and uh, that's it. Um, so there'll be a regular werewolf, a dire wolf, and a pet wolf. And I will obviously send those descriptions obviously in chat when, when I send them to the three wolf players. Um, on team good, there will be three goods. There will be a bodyguard. Uh, bodyguard is from the previous edition. Uh, the bodyguard can uh, each night protect somebody. If that person was going to be eaten by the wolves, instead uh, they're protected and they don't die. Uh, the bodyguard can never protect themselves and they can never protect the same person twice. So I could protect Tim on the first night, but then I would have to wait till night three to protect Tim again. And I would have to maybe switch to Chris Goodlet, for instance. Awesome. The cutthroat. The cutthroat, once per game, may look their neighbor in the eye and they will eliminate their neighbor. That's why your number is important. So for instance, 
uh, Patrick can kill Ted and Chris if he was uh, a cutthroat. Um, if you're on either end of the spectrum, so for instance, Sarah's 12 and Ted, then it does lap. So Sarah could kill Ted and Ted could kill Sarah, for instance, because um, that basically are the ends of the circle. Um, so once per game, you can, and it does reveal your card to do so. Uh, you can say, moderator, I am publicly revealing my card uh, and I'm going to uh, cutthroat my neighbor. Okay, and the last good roll will be the One-Eyed Seer. The One-Eyed Seer is a seer that has limitations to them. They will get a Night Zero view. Um, the One-Eyed Seer, once they have found a wolf or a lichen, which obviously I'll give a thumbs up for wolf, thumbs down for not wolf, they cannot get another check until that person has died. So they will not get another, they will not get a, uh, another view until that person's been eliminated, giving them incentive to go after maybe that person a little bit harder. Um, so we will have three werewolves in this game. We'll have three good specials, and then we will have six villagers. Um, in a moment, I'm going to private message roles, and like I said, they will have descriptions. And uh, Patrick, thank you for posting all of this. Are there any questions? Oh, so many, but I think, I think I'll go <laughs> through. Awesome. Okay, I will send them to you, and then we will go ahead and get started here just momentarily. Okay, guys? Cool. So I'm just... I'm not new to Werewolf, but I'm not supposed to tell you all my role, right? Oh, no. no I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. kidding. If you're a wolf, you absolutely can. Yeah. <laughs> Unless I'm on your team, then don't. You are, you are <laughs> required. Uh, if, if you are chosen for elimination, though, you do have to give at least a three-minute uh, death speech. Oh, three minutes. Oh, three minutes. Gosh. Have you written that's a minimum, me? just so you know. That's a lot. I, mean, I don't think I you mean, want to listen to me for longer. Can you, you just it? recite some Shakespeare? Come on, guys. Yes. Mm. I mean, some of the time can be padded with dramatically falling down. Um, so you, you know, play with it. I feel like you're just paving the way because you've prepared a three-minute death speech already. It might That might have happened. I've always got a three-minute death speech in my pocket, David. <laughs> No matter the game, <laughs> I've, got, I've got five. Look, it's real crash, life. Scooter crash. You know, I've got a, I've got a death speech for every situation. Okay, so if we get stuck on who to kill, just for entertainment purposes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that speech. I would, I would uh, humbly request you don't test I, that proposition. I don't even think we have to get stuck. I just we turn this into let's find out how Jeremy died. <laughs> it's true. Did everyone get there? I, 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 I haven't been told yet. I'm he just is sending checking. them out right now. So. I'm not trying to pressure him. I just that's, I don't. That's what he's I would saying, say but he's if saying if David doesn't get it first, he's quitting. That's that's yeah. what I heard. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm going to be last because I'm number twelve. Just a guess. Ooh. Oh, well, you know what? That's fine. With the last name Waybright, I've been last all my life that way. So. <laughs> I'm not sure it was your last name, David. <laughs> Felix, I don't want to alarm you, but I think there's a werewolf on the bed behind you. Yes. Or there was a second ago anyway. Now it's invisible. That's Sibo, the most adorable werewolf of all time. He's the best. Did you say Sibo? Sibo, correct. It's not Cabo? Well, it's not Ted's. It's oh, Felix. Okay. <laughs> Somebody says that they're pretty sure that Ted, Felix, or Sarah are going to be the werewolves. We got some. We got some bets on. Uh, wow, I'm already calling it. Yeah. Well, Felix is always a werewolf. That's what cause... they said. They're like, he's modding, but I'm going to bet it's Felix anyway. But it's, but it's always <laughs> Felix. Well, when it comes always to, Felix. When it comes to these games, my money is always on someone from Tantrum House, for oh. sure. Like, you, know, you stand the best chance well, of that bet. Yeah, exactly. I do, I do stand a good chance of uh, getting voted out immediately. Will <laughs> is really great at blaming me for stuff, and everybody seems to believe him. <laughs> oh, Sarah, we'll just kill just him in first. General? <laughs> That's what I was afraid I'll, of. I'll, I'll form an alliance with you, Sarah. We'll just he didn't start. trust me to be in the same room, so we're on the opposite ends of the house. <laughs> yeah. Go over there. Oh, 
so show of hands real quick. How many other people have played um, Werewolf over Zoom before? Because I haven't. Zoom. No. Yeah. Not over Zoom. That's it. Okay. Oh, All right. oh okay. So, so most of us are relatively noobs when it comes to playing this way. So, and the rule is you don't vote out the noob on the first day, right? So we now have three <laughs> targets for the first day. <laughs> Oops. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. I've never played this game before. <laughs> what is a werewolf? <laughs> All right, Felix, are you ready to rock? Is everybody I rolled up? I'm giving rolls right He's now. at least halfway through. <laughs> oh, so that's actually, how you spell exactly villager. Very, I was unsure of that. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's actually very funny that you say that because I actually didn't go in order of the names because I randomized via, uh, I randomized via Excel. So it, it didn't put you in particular order at all. Funny. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, I think that everybody should have a role. If you look on your chat to the right, everybody should have a role. Um, if you do, just give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you have a role and that I'm not missing anybody because otherwise that could make uh, night zero particularly awkward. So um, <laughs> if everybody has a role, and by the way, if you ask me a question, uh, I will delineate one moment. Let me take a look. I think I have a question real quick. So uh, all, all wolves will... Uh, will know the wolf partners before they use any abilities. So uh, with that, if everybody's ready to start the game, we can all go to sleep. 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 Excellent. First and foremost, I would like for my dire wolf, my pet wolf, and my regular werewolf to please wake up. My dire werewolf, my pet werewolf, and my regular werewolf. Please like, just give a wave so that we obviously uh, recognize each other. We see, okay, that's fantastic, wonderful. So the first thing that I would like is I would like you guys to collectively pick somebody to be your lichen. This is somebody you're gonna make a mystery lichen. If you agree, just give me a thumbs up. I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And I am currently recording your answer. Um, all my werewolves can go to sleep. But next, my dire wolf. My dire wolf, please wake up. My dire wolf, please wake up. My dire wolf, please wake up. Please pick somebody who you're betrothed to. If they die, you will die of a broken heart. I think I understand. I think I understand. One moment while I record the answer and you may go to sleep. Excellent. Uh, lastly, if I could have my pet wolf, my pet wolf, please wake up. Uh, my pet wolf, please pick somebody. If you die, they will die of a broken heart. A moment while I confirm. I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And one second while I record your answer. Okay, and you may go to sleep, and you may go to sleep. Finally, and lastly, may my one-eyed seer please wake up. My one-eyed seer, please wake up. You have the power of the seer. Please pick somebody to scan. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you did not find a wolf. Excellent, and you may go to sleep. Everybody is asleep. Everybody can wake up. Okay, so, um, you are the last remaining villagers in your village. We are going to start the day at five minutes. Uh, once you've accused somebody with two accusations, you will, um, uh, they will be put on defense and get a one minute defense. Uh, you may start effectively now. I just wanna know, how did you guys even point to people in the middle of the night? <laughs> well, I mean, you did it so you could tell us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you like point up? Because I'm pretty sure our pictures aren't the same. I don't even know how. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a Brady Bunch thing. Where... All right. Well, don't we just have to pick somebody to vote to get the thing started or no? Or not? Get GDU. Well, eventually. I don't think you're going to do it quite yet. Probably want to hear what people have to say. Yeah. Right? But I mean, nominate somebody, right? Or something. Yeah, well, if, if the werewolves just want to tell us who they are. Raise that is the thumb. easiest way. That would certainly make it easier on everybody. Really speed things along. No one's speaking up. Or just give up one of your partners. That's a good thing, too. It's fine. Yeah. Hmm. 
I mean, <laughs> Ray, I think if we think? don't have any other direction, then we should just ne- Jer- ugh, nominate I, Jeremy right off the bat. I mean, I'm, <laughs> wow. I'm trying, I'm trying to like look everybody in the eye with a penetrating stare. It's rather difficult. It is. This. I've it never, is. I've never scanned my monitor as thoroughly as I am <laughs> right. right now. You it's just get more pixelated the closer I get. That's problem. <laughs> you went back and forth and back and forth. Right. Well, Marty's being unusually quiet. I was thinking the same thing about Lauren. Shut up, David. <laughs> is that Marty, better? Is that better, David? Marty is being characteristically grumpy. I prefer you quiet. Thank you. I feel like Will is being a little quiet as well. Do we have any thoughts of who the werewolves would pick as their lichen? I think that's maybe the a good place to start. Like, you know, oh. if you were a werewolf, who would you think? would be the best person to choose as a lichen. And and could somebody explain what a lichen is again? A lichen is just, it's a villager that looks like a werewolf to this year. I okay. would pick Marty. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see what's going on here. Marty, that was well played. I like that, playing dumb. Yeah. Oh, you know me long enough, dude. That was not playing. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've never played with Will before, but would he make that first statement he made on how the wolves would pick someone if I he do, were a wolf? I do kind of feel like uh, he was very bold to say something right away. Right. And like that does- got to jump in. It, right. I, think that, I think that's a typical Will to jump yeah. in right away to say something. Hey, thanks for the yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't said anything about me yet. I think he's being ah. rather kind or he's a werewolf and is waiting to kill me off in the next two rounds. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe he's a dire wolf and he's trying to keep you alive. Well, that could be true too. Uh, I actually had the- that'd be sweet. I had the theory, since we're just talking now, that- Okay. Oh, is that what we're doing? I think so. (laughs) We have two minutes. If I were gonna pick someone to be my love wolf, whatever that's called, what was that one called? Your love (laughs) wolf? (laughs) The love wolf is a family show (laughs) It's a different game I think you're talking about. (laughs) Whatever that one is called, I would have picked Sarah because I feel like she wouldn't get voted off on the first round or two. So at least you're not risking your life by picking somebody like Ted. I wouldn't pick Ted as my go-to soulmate because I feel like he's gonna get voted off. Yes, that would probably be. Who I'm else hasn't play. said much? Did, Chris did you Ray. just argue that you're a werewolf? I'm always quiet in these things. I know. <laughs> you're the only one I've played with before, so I want to know your thoughts. Um, <laughs> I weirdly for once trust Ted. Other than that, uh, I have, thanks, yeah. Chris. I have no reason. I haven't played with most of you. I've played with a few, but not, not everybody. Yeah, I haven't said much because I'm trying to figure out everybody's names. Everybody's like, Will, Ted, this, that. And so I'm like <laughs> trying to follow the boxes. Number nine, number seven. <laughs> that would be useful. <laughs> if you move your cursor around, um, it'll- That's what I've been going. doing. Yeah, you can just kind of like, just move your cursor around and the names will stay up until you let go for a little while. Yeah, but then I have to find people. I'm slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, guess, I guess we gotta do something. We got a one minute warning. Yeah. So, uh, we so, have any, any real suspects it, at this point? Does anyone want to volunteer? Does the no. clock stop when somebody gets nominated? Or no? no? Well, it will stop for a defense once they're nominated and seconded, yeah. right, Felix? Oh, it does. He's saying Nominate. yes, correct. Yes. But there's 15 14. seconds left. 15, 13, 14, 12. What 10. happens when that timer goes off? No, we kill. all die. Oh, no <laughs> kill. I'm going to nominate Patrick. Okay. Anyone second? I second. I have to oh. find Patrick. Okay, I'll second. I second. Yeah. Yeah, part of it is to stop the clock, and but yep. part of it was he was of the people who were talking. He was quiet until he wanted to hear Chris talk. So that's hey, I figured, so you know, Patrick you know, has been put on too soon. So go ahead. Patrick has been put on defense. The clock currently stands at two seconds. Uh, after this, we will vote, and you will have two seconds remaining. Patrick, you are final. Uh, you have the floor. Proceed. Sure. You have one minute. I have one minute. Awesome. So um, I am on Team Village. I do not believe that you should kill me today or eliminate me today. Um, If I have to put out my suspicions, I actually don't think I trust Chris Ray at all. I was kind of watching him. (laughs) He would be the one that I would immediately nominate if I lived through this elimination. 
Um, I also don't think I trust Will. I think Will knew exactly how to select things in the night with numbers, and he was kind of playing it up, um, playing the, 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 you know, the I don't know what's going on card. So those are my two uh, suspicions. But um, I <clears throat> think that it's really important that you keep me around. That's I was going to say that Chris looked genuinely shocked when he said his name. And then he said my name. And I was like, oh, trash, I'm genuinely shocked. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and with that, that marks the end of Patrick's defense. OK, guys, so just as a refresh, uh, we're about to put our hands up and close our eyes. I'm going to count three, two, one, and then you will either drop your hand for death or you will keep your hand up for life. Excellent. So if everyone could close their eyes and put out a hand real quick. We're going to close our eyes and we are going to vote. If you put your hand down, you're voting for death. If you leave your hand up, you're voting for life. Okay, voting in three, two, one. Open your eyes. Okay. Are we supposed so, to leave our hands up for the I, I opening part or not? <laughs> yeah, well, so if your hands are up, that is fine. So it looks like we have, if you have your hand up for life, uh, raise your hand just so we can indicate it. One, two, three, four, five. If you are voting, you can put your hands down. If you are voting for death, please raise your hands. I think that's everybody else. Okay, so that is the majority, which means that Patrick does die. Uh, Patrick died during the day, so he reveals as a villager, I believe. Ah. He dies as a villager. Please turn your camera off and uh, meet yourself, Patrick, and we will go to uh, the night phase. Okay, everybody can go to sleep. Everybody can go to sleep. Everybody can go to sleep. Okay. So, first and foremost, my three wolves, my dire wolf, my pet wolf, and my regular wolf, if you could wake up, it is time for you to go munchy munchy. It's time for you to go munchy munchy. Please pick somebody to eliminate. Do we have a consensus? I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep. You may go to sleep. Next up, my one-eyed seer, my one-eyed seer. If I give you a thumbs up, you may get a check tonight. If I give you a thumbs down, you got a thumbs up last night and cannot check. Please pick somebody to check. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you did not find a wolf. And when I see her, you can go to sleep. My bodyguard, my bodyguard, please wake up. My bodyguard, please wake up. You are now going to protect somebody. You may not protect yourself. Um, you may protect any other player. Please pick somebody to protect. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep. And you may go to sleep. Okay, everybody is asleep. Everybody can wake up. Please no chatting until the night phase has been resolved. And Will has been eliminated. Will <laughs> died at night, so Will does not reveal. Oh, Will, thanks, if you guys. want to turn your camera and mute yourself. All right, good see you. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have five minutes again. I will post at the three minute mark when you guys have reached that. Uh, the day will proceed now. Who? who? Cool. To anybody else now that people are actually like dark. They're gone. Who voted Who voted uh, to keep them alive the last time, the first night? I did. did not. If I don't know, I'm not going to vote someone out because we need all yeah. the villagers we can get. That's always my strategy. Us three. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Strategies involved? Oh, crap. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, well, I played this with 12 year olds, so like strategy is a little loose, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm perfect. Oh. Man. I, I'm going to I'm gonna make a guess. I'm going to go straight for Ted because Ted was so quick to go after Patrick. You know, why not? Well, it, hmm. it wasn't I was quick. I, I needed to stop the clock. And uh -huh. all I had at that point was Patrick was quiet until he mentioned, you know, that Chris wasn't, you know, he asked Chris about like, oh, he looks suspicious. So I was like, well, gee, uh, he got, you know, got a few words in there, threw some some shade over towards Chris. And that seemed like a, a very good thing for a werewolf to do on the first day. 
as the time is running out. So that's that's why I did that. And I wanted us to make sure we got, you know, an elimination on the first day because um, unlike Andrea, I yeah, think you, you, you wanted somebody to, to die someone. on the first day. Yeah, you got, yeah. got to get, someone, mm-hmm. get rid of someone on the first day. It sucks mm-hmm. that wasn't a werewolf, but you know, it happens. At least at least but, it wasn't a seer. That would have been it, much worse. Or even one of the other special roles. The other special roles are pretty good too. But, but it's just it's just collateral damage, right, Ted? Yeah. It's just it's collateral damage. damage. Yeah, this is rough. This is dark. This is you went to a dark place, Ted. That's a pretty <laughs> cynical. That's a kind of a cynical attitude. <laughs> That's why he's not the mayor. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. I I, I, well, does anybody else want to join me on this? Uh, on Ted, so you're I, officially nominating. I'm not, I'm going to nominate. I'm going to nominate Ted. I mean, first first things first. Nobody else. Uh, I don't know. He his his explanation just now seemed legit to me. I mean, sure, it sounds good. I mean, hey, before we end on the day, yeah, let's go ahead and kill somebody off. Perfect sense. Yeah, Just well, quick. Andrea made sense to me before, and then he said what he said, and that made sense. So I'm, I, if, if anything, I'm just very confused now in terms of strategy. <laughs> so, so what we know about David is he always believes the last thing he heard. So that would be useful. <laughs> so if you want him to keep That's alive, true. just tell him that right before he votes. Keep me alive, David. <laughs> I'm very malleable that way. I, I'm, I'm not entirely opposed to the proposition that it's Ted. I, I, I don't want to leap right into it, though. We have a little bit of time here to think okay. through this. We still have Chris two days now has, uh, has barely said anything. And he's just staring at me. I'm From just all I can tell through Zoom, he's just staring at me. <laughs> I'm just a quiet person. I don't know who would kill Will and what incentive they had to kill Will. Um, yeah. But I'm sad that he's gone. Well, do, remember, do we... Patrick did find you suspicious, Chris. So, I mean, we have that. And he was a good guy. So we have something there. He has no other knowledge. That but... is true. He, yeah, he didn't have any knowledge. It was just his hunch. Right. Right. But, hmm. Yeah. I mean, just a confusing. There's always the possibility that Sarah, after talking about how Will would go for her first, flipped it the first night yeah. to so, get rid of him. Well, now I know nothing. Since, since we're being cynical. Yeah. I'll also throw a, a Tim out there just because it's always a good thing. You know, as a werewolf, you you want to get rid of a villager any way you can, first day or not. And, you uh, me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you backed me up and thank you, but, you know, it did not turn out well. And <laughs> what you happened? Know, what happened, to, what happened to not go after the new guy? I thought I'm the new one. I am really convinced that Tim is good right now, just based on that reaction alone. Like, who, me? I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, hmm. Marty, what do you think? I don't know. I'm kind of one of those that kind of sits back and listens to everybody, but nobody's really stuck out to me so far. Ted has talked a lot. I will say that he's kind of de- he's kind of seconds. deferred a couple times here. Yeah. And noob question here: Can someone remind me of the significance of the the timer? We only have five minutes before we can't say, "Hey, I think the werewolf is blah blah blah." I see. I see. We, we got 13 we'll seconds. We'll fall asleep, asleep and another villager dies. dies. We have 10 seconds right. to nominate and second someone. You guys want to nominate? And second me. You need to do I, it. Now. I nominate uh, David. I'll, I'll, oh, David. oh, David. Oh, not David. No, no. Me? <laughs> I, I, I was going to go for Ted. Um, I, yeah. I, I, I can second uh, Ted. I, I, I had already second David. I don't know I if you heard. Oh, okay. Um, Hey, so I heard, just to keep the air clear, I heard a second on David just before the timer ran out. Is that correct? I think that was me. Yes. So who was the first on David? I did. But, yeah, Tim oh. was the first, Ted was the second. So David, you are on the pyre. Please defend yourself uh, from elimination. Well, I am convinced now more than ever that at least Ted is a werewolf. I, I think Tim was maybe just taking a a guess at me. Uh, But Ted being so quick to second uh, seems very, very suspicious. Like I, I wouldn't even know the first thing to do if I were a werewolf. (laughs) Um, 
anyone else, I really don't know. I have no idea about Andrea, Sarah, or Lauren, or Chris, or Chris. <laughs> Uh, in fact, Ted would be my first choice. That's, I, I don't really have much more of a defense other than pointing the finger at Ted, but it is not me. I am a villager through and through. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> okay, perfect. Defense rest. Okay. So again, everyone, we are going to close our eyes and put our hands out. Remember, dropping your hands means death. Keeping your hands up means for life. Uh, I think we have 10 people, so it means six people will have to vote for death. So uh, everyone's hands are up. Voting in three, two, one, vote. Okay, uh, everyone can wake up. And it looks like everybody voted for life, except for Chris Ray. So if you voted for death, everyone put your hands down. If you voted for death, please raise your hand. I think that was only Chris, but I wanted to confirm. Uh, so only Chris voted for death. Um, and with that, unfortunately, the timer has run out. So we are going to go to sleep. Um, of note, uh, this is for the people who are uh, not participating. Once you are dead, the dead cannot speak. So if you could, please not chat. It would be highly appreciated. So Yeah, with Will. <laughs> so with that, everybody could go to sleep. Everybody could go to sleep. Everybody can go to sleep. Excellent. So I would like for my three wolves, my dire wolf, my pet wolf, my regular wolf to please wake up. It is time for you to go munchy munchy on somebody. Who would you like to eliminate? I need a consensus. Excellent. And I think that I understand. I think that I understand. And you uh, may go to sleep and you may go to sleep and you may go to sleep. Excellent. Next, I would like for my uh, one-eyed seer to please wake up. My one-eyed seer, if I give you a thumbs up, you can obviously get a check. If I give you a thumbs down, you have not. Um, I think I understand. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you did not find a wolf and you may go to sleep. Okay, lastly, my bodyguard, my bodyguard, please wake up. My bodyguard, please wake up. It's time for you to pick somebody to protect. Who would you like to protect? I think I understand, I think I understand, I think I understand and you may go to sleep. Excellent. Everybody is asleep. Everybody can wake up. Please no speaking until the night phase has been resolved. And Chris Goodlett has been sadly murdered. Chris Goodlett died at night, so he does not reveal. I will start the timer momentarily. And you have five minutes. Please proceed. Wait, what just happened? Oh, he's gone. Chris died. Oh, died. He got eaten. <laughs> Wait, who said what just happened? Tim. Yeah. Tim. Hmm. <laughs> well, no, nobody was. Nobody was. Nobody was still there. Now he's gone. I see. So. All right. Okay. So, I guess Chris. Chris led in with a with a nomination right off the bat that did not go well for him. So far, I felt like Chris was the one person that I could trust. Also. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help us at all now. <laughs> was, was, was Chris getting close? Did he nominate anybody last time? And we just didn't. He did. He, he nominated me right away in his way. Yeah. Him. And then someone, Judo, threw that onto David before we got to finish the mm. yeah. nomination. So was Chris eliminated because he was a threat and knew something potentially? Perhaps. It's well, possible. My, my theory is the werewolves picked me to be a lichen. And uh, he, uh, David, he was our um, seer. That's my theory. And he's that Chris was our seer. What? Wait, that Chris was, was a seer? seer. This Chris, Chris was a seer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. We have a seer in this game. <laughs> only have one eye. helping us. They're like a pirate. They're just like walking around. They got with a an bad eye. eye. <laughs> that's it. That's the one I'd see her. Well, who? I, I, and that's, I simply don't remember who nominated David last time. Him. Tim and Tim nominated. I seconded Ted. before time ran out. Oh, okay. So Tim and Ted nominated. But both. But both I voted to keep alive. alive. Yes. Yeah. Chris, Chris, Chris. Chris. That's true. That's true. That's true. 
Except yeah, the other one for death. He's voted right. to kill every time. Yes, I'm, yeah, werewolves I'm, love to kill love people. people happy here. They do. They do. Tim, yeah. what did you just say? I said uh, Chris has voted to kill or to eliminate. I'm sorry. I guess uh, politically correct. <laughs> uh, he has voted to eliminate every time so far, right? That's true. That's true. true. Wait, who did that? Chris Ray. Three. Chris Ray, yeah. Hmm. It would have been really helpful if I played with anybody other than Andrea. And I yeah, right? <laughs> you never played werewolves yeah. with me either. I played were words. <laughs> nominate exactly Chris. There. I nominate Chris. Oh, no. Okay, Chris. I'll, I'll, what sec the? I'll, I'll second I, that. I'm not only killed every person, <laughs> to kill every person, and I'm innocent, everybody. Awesome. Okay, Chris, you have been accused. You are on the pyre. You will have one minute to defend yourself. Okay, this is easy. I'm the one I'd see her. The last two nights, I've checked the person who died at night, and I also checked Ted on the first night. Ted is safe. Hmm. So the bodyguard has to protect me tomorrow night if the bodyguard is still in the game. Are you calling the vet? So hold on. Can we ask questions? Can we? Yeah, can we? Who'd you take oh. the first night? I checked Ted, and then I checked uh, Will, and then I checked Chris. All good? All are good? Yeah. So, so we'll know if he's dead tomorrow night, I guess. Unless That's the true. bodyguard saves him. Oh, bodyguard. Yeah, bodyguard yeah. can keep and if nobody Bodyguard was eliminated. And if nobody else like claims he's lying, then he really is the seer. Yeah. No, because we don't know who died at night. So I mean, I, I but yeah, I am the I am the one I'd seer. But I mean, like we could, Will could have been the seer, like anybody, and the seer may yeah, just right. think he's lying because the one rule of this game is everybody can lie. Right. Like, and, oh right, right, right. And right. two people right. he said he checked are dead. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. you said Will and Chris, right? Yeah, I know suspicious, but I really mm -hmm. am the one I'd seer. Hmm. Okay, and with that, the defense is over. So we are going to vote on Chris Ray's life. Again, everybody will hold their hands up. Remember, this is death. Keeping your hand up is life. Everybody close your eyes and please put your hands out. Okay, and we will vote in three, two, one, vote. Okay, so everyone can open their eyes. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for life. You can put your hands down. And if you voted for death, you can raise your hands at this point. Oh, how interesting. And that is not enough. The day continues. So, wait, he just, Chris just said Ted is a villager and Ted voted to kill him. Yeah. Right, because, uh, I, I don't believe he's the one I'd see her. Um, yeah. The first night, the one, I, the, the one I'd see her gets a false positive on the first night. So, it doesn't matter if, if you saw me as a villager or, he, you know, if he, if he would have actually. Uh, hmm. That's it's kind of irrelevant. So, that's that's kind of trying to make everyone feel oh okay we can all trust and since clearly i don't know who a werewolf is or not um you know it's it's making you guys think oh we'll just keep keep him there and yeah so anyway i don't trust Chris. <clears throat> and 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 for what it's worth from my perspective like everyone he said his safe has died and he yeah. hasn't spoken up yeah like in any of these discussions yeah and I, it may it's a play yeah. style thing but you know i i actually I, I, I I a compelling, a compelling and watch you'll see that i said i said on the first night you know i don't know who i trust except i do trust ted on the second night i said well i really yeah. don't know if you guys remember me saying that can we rewind uh, the tape please? Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the replay uh i'm a little I, now i'm just starting to question ted just because he knows way too much about how to play this game <laughs> I'm also starting to question him, and I checked him. <laughs> <laughs> now, and you said you, uh, Ted, you were explaining his first check could have been anything. False positive. If he if he sees a werewolf, he would not have been told it was a werewolf. The one-eyed uh, seer doesn't see a werewolf and, the first time. And why is that, Ted? That's just the one-eyed seer's limitation. That's the one-eyed seer's rule. And who did you check first, Chris? Ted. Oh. Oh. Well, that's I'm Ted. You've got me. My brain is starting to melt with all of your <laughs> double talk logic. 
silver tongue. Uh, you know, he oh. could be, but uh, I think the the other Chris is more likely, in my opinion, at this point. Um, you know, Chris does make a good point. He did say that he he trusted me on that first day, which is kind of weird. I said I missed. Yeah, we got we got four seconds if we're gonna. I think do I'll something. nominate Ted. I th as a villager, I we you know got to This is our only chance to get out of werewolf. Unfortunately, do we have a? I don't believe we had a second that nominated Ted. Is that uh, I, oh, didn't. I don't yeah. know if I made it in time though. I, I I don't know if it was. I wasn't looking at the clock, so I was like, I know it was getting close. So I will take if the village says it's not correct. I will take it, but I did not see it in time. Uh, does anybody dispute that? If they do, it's okay, and obviously we can go from there. Awesome. I'm not going to stress it. Okay, so at the, with that, then there was no day kill, and everybody will go to sleep. Everybody will go to sleep. Everybody will go to sleep. Excellent. My dire wolf, pet wolf, and regular wolf, please wake up. My pet wolf, dire wolf, and regular wolf, please wake up. It's time for you to eat somebody. I think I understand. I think I understand, and you may go to sleep. My one-eyed seer, please wake up. My one-eyed seer, please wake up. Please pick somebody to check. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you did not find a wolf. And you may go to sleep. Okay, my bodyguard, my bodyguard, please wake up. My bodyguard, please wake up. Please pick somebody to protect. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep. And you may go to sleep. Everyone's asleep. Everybody can wake up. And sadly, number five, Tim has been eliminated. Tim dies at night, Hell? so he does not reveal. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, day continues. I'll start the timer here in just a second, a moment. I am the world's worst one-eyed seer. I checked Tim. Oh my God. Oh. So, <laughs> as, a, as a side note, oh, okay, might wow. be my favorite speech now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so, so we, we have sorry, a slight problem been, now because we have to find a, a wolf today or we lose at this point. Well, that's what I was going to ask. What there's there's some the weird game. roles in there, so with the cutthroat and the bodyguard, so it's not, it, it won't just shut us down, but our odds are very, very slim. What uh, triggers in game? What? What triggers in game? It's been too long since I played. Well, normally parody, but we have special roles in here that can take out additional, the cutthroat can take out an additional player and the bodyguard can prevent someone from being eliminated at night. So it's not, and the tire wolf and the pet wolf actually. So I, I don't know. Um, Felix, have you done the math as to where, what, what the end will be? Uh, so if there were ever an equal number of werewolves and uh, team goods, uh, then we would be at parity. Uh, currently, the game is continuing with 358 left. Okay. Uh, so I have an idea. Nobody's hunting for the seer anymore. I am the seer. Uh, how about the body, the bodyguard and the cutthroat come out? There's no reason to keep themselves secret. Yep. Uh, so did the bodyguard protect Chris last night, I guess is the question, because clearly uh, he was not the target, which is kind of weird, right? So uh, do we have bodyguards? Well, they wouldn't have, if they thought the bodyguard was still around, they wouldn't have targeted him because they figured he'd be protected tonight so they'd kill somebody else. This is like that scene from A Princess Bride. <laughs> right. Yeah, I cannot trust the werewolf in front of you. <laughs> All right, so I'm the cutthroat, and I'm going to choose to use my power at some point. Not not quite yet, because we have time left during the day. Um, but I'll just put that out there. OK, so, so who who you are adjacent? So you're adjacent then to, adjacent to me. So this is me and me. And Sarah. Uh, Sarah and so Chris. Chris and Sarah. OK. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, what do you have to say for yourself? I said, I did not get a special role. I am just a villager. Just a villager. So mm -hmm. I have the least amount of information. But a really good night's sleep. We get a really good night's sleep. Yeah. Yes. That <laughs> Pretty is quiet. True. Marty, are you a werewolf? Oh, no. See, it says it right on my shirt. Look. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we were thinking. Why did we even ask him? So, I mean, did you get that shipped overnight just for this? Shut up, David. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If we have a bodyguard, that's going to really help because then we're down to only um, one real villager, I think, one plain villager, if that's the case. That'd be really nice to know. I'm Time? a plain villager. I mean, I assume this means the bodyguard must be dead? Potentially. Or they're not it, admitting themselves so they don't get oh. targeted because the bodyguard can't no. defend themselves, right? No, although, I'm although, other people. no right. I'm, I'm sure that the bodyguard is gone at this point because they would have said something. Um, and at this point, we have to trust Chris, which is kind of ir irks me. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with his uh, history of picking the people who are about to be eliminated. Hmm. Um, but yeah, don't have too much of a choice. So uh, at that point, um, we've got three plain villagers and uh, three wolves besides Chris. Okay, and so hold on. Okay, so if Chris, you choose one of the people you have not looked at yet and you actively name, I'm going to look at so and so tonight. And then if they kill you, then we know. Wait, will that work? Sacrificial lamb? That'll work. Yeah, that, that's reasonable. Can so you wait, say that again? Yeah, you're gonna say that again. <laughs> okay, so you name one of the people you haven't looked at, and you say, I'm gonna look at number 84 or whatever, right? We all go to sleep. If the werewolves kill you, it's because 84 was a werewolf, and they didn't want you to wake up the next morning and say, hey, 84 so, is a werewolf. Okay, so villain, we're gonna put Chris out as bait. How much time's left, Felix? Oh, we're down to the second. Should I just okay. say check? We need to eliminate a werewolf this round or we're gonna lose. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I nominate Marty. I'll yeah. nominate. I'll second. I'll second. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry, Marty. Oh, game's over. I mean, this is easy. So I can go take a bathroom break in a second. No, seriously, the game, if, if we're really down to three and three, the game, the game is over. I mean, it even says it on the shirt right there. I mean, <laughs> well, no, seriously, the, if, if there, if a werewolf has not been eliminated before now, this game will be done after tonight. Guaranteed. So, I mean, that's the only thing I, I got for you. I'd love to stretch it out a bit, a little bit longer. I was just a plain old villager. Mm. I mean, I mean, I don't need the other 30 seconds. I mean, that, that was it. I mean, if, if y'all want to cut the night short and go watch TV or something, that's fine. Oh, now he's threatening oh, the live stream. Wow. Yeah. But again, again, if a werewolf was, you know, if the first person we killed was a werewolf, then it will keep on going, obviously. But if there's three werewolves left, this is it. Awesome. Okay. Uh, and with that, your defense has been marked as over. I didn't put up the card, but that is the end of your defense. So again, we're going to put out our hands. Uh, Do if I you vote? Voting for life, you can also vote yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, your hands are out. We are going to eyes closed, please, and we will vote in three, two, one, vote. Okay, and everybody can open their eyes, and it looks like we have one voting for life, and we have seven voting for death. Raise your hands if you voted for death. Sorry, Marty. Excellent. Well, and Marty has died during the day. Marty reveals as a villager. No. All right. Quickly, I, time I assumed that under a black light, his shirt changed and said, "I am a werewolf." <laughs> All right. That would be really cool. Okay, so, okay. okay, guys. So we um, are going to go to sleep. We are going to go to sleep tonight. Everybody can go to sleep, and we will um, run the night. Okay. So. My werewolves, my werewolves, please wake up. My werewolves, please wake up. Please pick somebody to murder. I think I understand. I think I understand, and you may go to sleep. Um, my seer, my seer, please wake up. My seer, please wake up. If I give you a thumbs up, uh, you may choose somebody tonight. If I give you a thumbs down, you obviously have picked somebody um, incorrectly. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you did not find a wolf. And you may go to sleep. My bodyguard, my bodyguard, please wake up. My bodyguard, please pick somebody to protect. 
I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep. Everybody's asleep. Everybody can wake up. Chris Ray has died. Chris Ray died at night, so he does not reveal. However, at this point, the game is at parity. There are three wolves and there are three team goods. So if you are a wolf, you may raise your hand. You've won this game. David, nicely done. Good job, guys. Everyone can turn their cameras on. I was Marty. I was like, no, I knew exactly the three people. Guys, the reason that it was technically parody after the wolves kill, but the reason that I kept the game going was if for some reason they had forgotten about the dire wolf and killed the dire wolf companion, who was Lauren, who had dired Andrea, that would have led to the wolves continuing into the next day. So that's why we proceeded into the next day for sure. I just, I guess we, as we got down to the end, because I was a traditional wolf, so I didn't know who the pets and the whatever. So I was like, I got, I got to be careful. I don't like encourage the death of someone who's gonna backfire on us here. <laughs> I, I had a feeling about you, David. See, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you talked a very good defense. That was that was an excellent defense you had. So who was the bodyguard? Me. Ah. So Chris, wait, were you actually the seer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I imagine that was accurate. (laughs) And I did protect him that night that I got killed. Oh, you sacrificed yourself for him. That's Mm -hmm. touching. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it did you, Tim. Okay, guys, so um, I think that I have another roll set. So if you guys need a second, uh, does anybody need to take like a, a five minute break real quick? Or are we going to get started and go into the next round? 60 seconds, all I need. All right, two minute break. Perfect. Are you going to give us new numbers? Yes, I am going to give you no new numbers. And I'm going to, uh, with that 60 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and get some descriptions so that I can go ahead and post them in the chat for everybody this time. Okay. <laughs> Man, watching those night shots were painful, you guys. <laughs> I think the funniest thing was watching Chris Ray pick every single wolf kill. Yeah. Yeah. So he would pick wow. somebody, and then they would get night killed. And he did it three times in a row. It was That, it that was, is um, uncanny. You can understand yeah. why that made me not want to trust you. Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I wouldn't have trusted me either. So Yeah. Yeah, I was very close to using my power to taking you out like right then when nobody voted you. I was just like, that's it. I'm just going to have to just take them out. But, uh, uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about the cutthroat uh, only working on neighbors because um, I actually didn't think it was Sarah either at that point. So I couldn't really use my thing on the last day to do anything. So, ah, rats. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. like, I wondered if I was one of the um paired up with the pet werewolf or, buddy y- yes werewolf lover <laughs> oh who was the mystery lichen by the way who did you guys choose so funny story oh. they picked sarah meadows and that's right <laughs> <great. laughs> i think that's the first werewolf game of at least of this number of people that uh, i've and not one werewolf has been uh, eliminated before the end of the game. I put that on Andrea. She knows I, I get on the back far there. more belligerent. <laughs> right? Yeah, I was should really have, starting to get suspicious of you, but then I didn't. I was like, well, you know, she said she hasn't played this much, so maybe she's like stepping back and just trying to figure it all out and kind of, you know, learn the game, immersive or whatever. <laughs> so I have to admit, again, I am a, a noob uh, to some degree at this. Ted, can you enlighten us? Would there ever be a time where the werewolves would want to sacrifice one of themselves? Oh yeah, totally. Because a lot of times that'll give you credibility with everybody else. They'll trust right. you. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it depends on the circumstances, of course, because sometimes it can be questionable as to why you did that because people will do that. But yeah, oh, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, typically during the day, David, not in the middle of the night. <laughs> I've definitely seen werewolves where they've even like agreed like, just kill me, kill me. And they're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause like all the heat's on that one. And if they get rid of this guy, they can keep that guy. So like, they're like, you know, get rid of me, have me get eaten in the night, you know, quote unquote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and like, that it, like I've seen it happen. And, and as much as I appreciated the opportunity to eat you, David, 
there there were too many people that were also suspicious. I think to sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, when you when you would uh, put yourself on the slab I, there. I will admit this. I do believe I didn't play the pet wolf to its potential because uh, probably. Po because I didn't fully understand the role uh, because I nominated uh, Will, I think, as he was my owner, but then I'd kind of suggested to the other wolves that we kill Will, which probably <laughs> wasn't the best thing. We should have waited until I died and then we would have killed Will along with me. Yeah. But oh well. There's always next time. Exactly. I mean, I'm a villager, I'm sure this time, but... <laughs> Just, just statistics, just plain old statistics, Dave. It's in your favor. But is this a random Excel doc or are you hand picking? <laughs> Will wants to know, are you going to give other people a chance to be werewolves? Am I going to die as a villager on day one again? Depends. How much bribery money are you putting out to not get eaten tonight? <laughs> Make it rain. Okay, guys. I mean, good. I think everybody's back. Are we ready to get started? Do it. Yeah. Great. Okay, one moment. Let me just, I'm formatting this so I can send you guys some rolls. Okay, so we're going to have three werewolves again. Uh, we're going to have a dire wolf again, which is a weak wolf. We'll also have an assassin wolf. Assassin wolf's a new wolf from the game. The assassin wolf can eliminate one of their neighbors. Remember, in a second, I'm going to give you guys new numbers. Uh, and then we'll have one regular werewolf. Um, for the team good, we'll have a huntress. The huntress at night, once per game, may eliminate a player. Uh, they will, um, I will say every night, Huntress, would you like to use your bow to eliminate a player? Uh, and they'll have the option by giving me a thumbs up and then indicating the number. Hmm. Uh, the hunter, the hunter reveals any time they die. So they are one of those triggered abilities and they will remove somebody. So if they die at night, anytime they die, they're going to take somebody with them. And then we will have a traditional seer. Uh, I'm going to, I'm posting these roles right now. So there's Hunter Seer. Yes. And six villagers. Okay. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Okay, guys. So these roles will be going out momentarily, and we will go ahead and get started. One moment. So as he's divvying out these roles, um, Ted, why don't you tell us about some of the most exciting things for you in the development of Extreme and some of your favorite things that have come out of uh, developing Extreme that are now available at this Kickstarter? Oh, well, we've got, um, yes, yeah, so the Kickstarter, it's still up, it's running right now. We've got a ridiculous number of new roles. Um, so we're playing just with a few of them tonight. Um, the, uh, th that's one thing that right, right away, that's great. The other thing, um, we spent a lot of time with uh, Aaron Newman, who runs the Bay Area um, Werewolf Meetup Group, which is really large. It's the only one that's larger than Atlantis. Um, and uh, it's, it's uh, you know, he's, he's basically a werewolf scholar at this point, Aaron. And uh, he's developed a system that really makes um, games much more balanced and um, you know, goes beyond the, the, the role numbers that we've had on the cards helps a lot, but he's come up with a system that really goes beyond that and really balances the, the cards super, super well. So just from a you know, purely mechanic standpoint, that's really cool. And with the Kickstarter, there's all sorts of really cool stuff. There's tarot sized cards, there's polarized sleeve inserts and customized card sleeves. And um, we've got some 3D mini special player items that you can hold on to. Um, just all sorts of great stuff. I can go on if Felix isn't ready yet. I'm finishing up roles now, but I would second the fact that Aaron Newman's understanding of werewolf is second to none. He is yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, yeah. So I've, I've known Aaron for a very long time, and he's he's a great moderator, and he loves the game, and he has really helped to make make this version of it um, so so much better. Just tighten things up. And even some of the familiar roles that you're used to, um, we've we've just made little tweaks to them to make them um, better, more balanced, kind of more fair, and not not too overpowered. And um, yeah, so that there's amazing art. The the art on the, the roles is incredible. Here's the um, I'm trying to find right here. Uh, then the brand new. Uh, I have a I have a card with no art on it at all. Here's Father Time. It's a brand new one, but the art on here is just amazing. Oh yeah, I love the art. Our, our yeah. artist that she's been working on these these uh, cards for like the last two years, doing four a month. Um, is super exceptional artist uh, that's just created just just this amazing artwork for these. So um, it's just a great looking set of cards at this point. 
can somebody tell me what's the difference between the hunter and the huntress? Absolutely. I so, only see the huntress on the chat. Oh, oh do that. I might I'm not even... have created the hunter. So the huntress at night, only at night, can eliminate another player in the village. The hunter, whenever they die, they trigger their ability and they take somebody with them. So if the huntress dies uh, during the day, they can't use their ability. Um, if the hunter dies for any reason, they take somebody out with them, basically. And, and the they huntress... are both in this game. And... and they're both in this game, yes. The Huntress, is that, so it says once per game? So not once, at every night, it's just, just once, once per in the game, they just one off and I'm like, I have one one arrow in this bow. Yep, one arrow a in this bow. A silver arrow or whatever. Oh, I like that, a silver arrow. That sounds sweet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna renumber everybody. Uh, so real quick, Lauren, you're gonna be one. Patrick's uh, serendipitously still two. Marty, you're three. Jeremy, you're also four. Uh, Will, you're five. <laughs> David, you're six. Ray, Chris Ray, you're seven. Sarah, you're eight. Tim, you're nine. Ted, you're 10. Andrea, you're 11. Oh, that's like three or four. They're the same number. And Chris, you're 12. Awesome. Okay, so once everybody's gotten themselves renumbered, if you just give me a thumbs up to let me know you got your role in the chat. I think I have gotten everybody. Awesome. Okay, and so if you guys are ready to play, we'll go ahead and get started and everybody can go to sleep. Everybody can go to sleep. Everybody can go to sleep. <clears throat> Everybody's asleep. Excellent. So the first people that I would like to wake up are my dire wolf, my werewolf, and my assassin wolf. If you could please wake up. If you could please wake up. Excellent. Give a wave so you guys can just make sure you identify each other. Perfect. And now you are going to pick a night zero lichen. You are going to pick a night zero lichen. Pick somebody who will give us a thumbs up to the seer. I need a consensus. I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And one moment while I record that. Um, yep, I see it. Excellent. And you may go to sleep. And next, if I could have my dire wolf, my dire wolf, please wake up. My dire wolf, please pick somebody to die with. If they die, you will die of a broken heart. I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep. Finally, my seer, my seer, please wake up. 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 My seer, you will, um, you will get a night zero check. One moment while I consider what you are saying. Okay, if I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you did not find a wolf and you may go to sleep. Everybody is asleep. Uh, everybody can wake up. Oh. Um, of note, um, in this chat, and I just messaged you guys, uh, the Huntress is not actually the Huntress. My apologies, I said that, but it's actually the Cutthroat. So if you say, <laughs> if you say Cutthroat, actually that's your role, it's not the Huntress. So uh, everybody can look at their chat, reconfirm their roles, and then we should be good to go from there. I'll start the timer right now. So just to verify, there is no Huntress, there is a Cutthroat instead. Okay. And that's the role you were last time, right, Ted? That is correct, yes. Okay. And that is where you can eliminate somebody next to you? Yes. Okay. Who you suspect is a werewolf, not just randomly, because that's not fun. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fun. It's, it's fun, who am I kidding? But, but it, has <laughs> to, it has to be like one number down or one number up from you? Yes, okay. yes. So that's why we renumbered then, so that they could. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So who's the same role they were last time? Huh? Hmm? Oh, we, all right. There we go. See, I think anyone who's a villager should def last turn. All, all of you guys should have raised your hands. But um, <laughs> only so that's we don't want to draw any attention to ourselves. We're like, we're just little villagers. <laughs> you want to make it one round this time, Will? Yeah, Ted, that could have also leave been a way alone. to help good specials if you were evil. Yeah. I, a good special wouldn't have done it. I'm just hoping. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I can accuse oh. people because I'm not a werewolf, I'm going to blame the entire middle row. There we go. 
There are two middle I rows. Like you are the middle row. Because you're in the middle row. <laughs> I'm not in the Thanks. middle row on mine. I was going to say. You are on mine. <laughs> well, I take that back. <laughs> I blame the entire right row? Column? <laughs> Sure, I feel there. I feel like there's more people being silent always this time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, the first thing I wanted to say was we killed Will because he spoke up first, but then I would have spoken up first. <laughs> and I could have backfired on me. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a dangerous game to play to open your mouth. Three minutes. Will, you have no words of wisdom today? <laughs> Will was just too risky <laughs> last time. Will was I not going to well, speak. Yeah, at least you died at night. You know? uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> we know I was innocent. Uh, can you explain what the difference between the one eye seer and the seer is? Is there any difference? One eye. Which, which are we using this time? Is it a one eye or? Absolutely. So the seer has no limitations on wolves. They just every night will get a check. Thumbs up to lichens and werewolves. Thumbs down to everybody else. Do we have a seer or a one-eyed seer this round? A seer. Okay. Okay. So if they get a th if if the seer got a thumbs down last night, they can be sure that that's a legit that a clear werewolf. person. Okay. Yeah. I had this great idea that I was going to volunteer like some whoever the seer is, check me out, prove that I'm innocent. <clears throat> but then I realized there's a decent chance somebody stuck me as their whatever. <laughs> There, <laughs> I, Everybody felt bad that you were eliminated right away last game. I appreciate that. So I don't <laughs> think I'm always suspicious of people who talk too much and people who don't talk at all. And Chris, Chris, and Tim are stone faced right now. <laughs> last time I spoke <laughs> up, I got killed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chris didn't speak up too. The Chris Ray didn't speak up to like what the third day yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. was seer. That's true. So yeah, where, the, yeah, where I thought that might be wolfy behavior, it ended up he was a good special, which sometimes right. that can be read, you know, incorrectly because yeah. people do have something to hide. It's just not an evil. Yeah. <laughs> but when well, he, spoke, spoke, he spoke true. Whoever the seer is, don't look at me because I don't want to die this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a special skill I had. Uh -huh. I think that was. <laughs> <simple>. <laughs> But again, shouldn't we just nominate somebody or not? At this point, yeah. just pick one of the three wolves from last game just because, I don't know, I think they, sh they should have been eliminated. They deserve to die. I mean, yeah. Well, eliminated. that sounds like something a wolf would say. That does. That <laughs> sounds yeah. Paying for your does. past life sins? What is that? That's right. Yeah. Of the wolves last time, I trust Lauren so much more this game, just her entire <laughs> demeanor's changed. So yes, I, don't think I, I would true. agree with that. True. And That's I think why I said blame is Andrea. also good. Just I'll nominate like last David time. again. I'll nominate David again. Don't I'll nominate me. Oh, uh, I'm 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 <laughs> gonna nominate. I'm gonna nominate Will. I've seconded what? David. He seconded him again in the first. I think, I think David's been seconded. <laughs> oh, David has. Okay. Now this is your this is your David's inspiring right. speech, David. Oh, this is for my inspiring. Can I borrow your three minute death speech <laughs> that you were talking about beforehand? Uh, I am a villager this time. I am not a werewolf. Uh, I know I'm speaking about the same amount as I did last time, which Patrick, to your point, I find it interesting that Patrick was pointing that out about Lauren changing her demeanor. Uh, and I think that's a fair point, but then he turned his targets towards me. Uh, so that feels a little suspicious to me. I don't know. I, uh, I am a villager. I don't know what else to say. Cause we don't have, no one has any information right now. Um, I don't have a special role. I'm not a werewolf. Uh, yeah, that's about it's about all I got. Are you wearing a special shirt? I. This would be like a seer shirt, right? But Ooh. it's not. It's, Ooh. Not, it's not. It just should just be a villager shirt because that's what I am. I am a villager. You, you will be killing a villager if you kill me. He's wearing villager boxers, Marty. I am. Uh, we all are, aren't we? <laughs> That me? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> right. Okay, guys, and that is the end of his defense. So, uh, with hands up, we please put our hands out. We are voting uh, hands up for life. Put your hands down for death. Please close your eyes. And voting in three, two, one, vote. 
Okay, so I see everyone can open their eyes. I see one, two, three, four, five, six for life. Yes. And I see six for death. Raise your hands if you did death. Put your hands down if you voted for life. Raise your hands if you voted for death. Just so we can acknowledge that in the village. And you have eight seconds remaining. We are resuming now. Hmm. What I have eight from seconds. trying to kill someone with no evidence. All right, I'm going back to nominating Wait. Will just for the fun of it. Well, <laughs> this is killing yeah. me. The only, the only reason I voted I, for eliminating I, David was because last time we lost because we the only chance to eliminate werewolves is during this time. Yeah, absolutely. And unf I but unfortunately, the day has ended. So with that, everybody will go to sleep. With that, everybody will go to sleep. With that, everybody will go to sleep. Okay. And now my werewolves, my werewolves, my dire wolf, werewolf, and assassin wolf, please wake up. Please wake up. It is time for you to pick somebody to eliminate. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep. Next, my seer, my seer, please wake up. My seer, please wake up. Please pick somebody to scan. One moment while I process your request. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a werewolf for a lichen. If I give you a thumbs down, you have not found a werewolf for a lichen. You may go to sleep. Uh, there are no other active night rolls as the huntress is actually the cutthroat as we described before. So everybody's asleep. Everybody can wake up. Please no talking until the night phase has been resolved. And sadly, Ted has died. Ted died at night, so Ted does not reveal. I will start the timer here momentarily and we will get started. Five minutes, you may proceed with the day. Who, who voted? That is surprising. Yeah. Who voted surprising. To, to save last time? Again? Yeah, who voted to? Yeah, no, who voted to get rid of? Oh, to I voted die. to get rid of him. What I did. did. What did Ted vote? Does anybody remember? Ted voted Ted, for him to Ted die. voted, you mean for me? Yeah. He voted to eliminate David. Yeah. No, oh, no, I think he voted right. to save me. Oh, I thought he voted to eliminate. I don't remember. Eliminate it, it was six and Andrew, six. Andrew, what did you do? I voted to keep him in. I always vote to keep people in because if I don't Sarah, know, like yeah. when I know, I'm like, oh yeah, that guy's got to go. But until I know, like why get rid of a villager or a potential villager? Because Sarah, the last game- It happened to me on day one last I don't game. Trust him. So. Patrick, did you vote to kill me? I did. Okay. <laughs> I pleasantly wait. Did you? Add? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. You I did. to kill me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. No, no big. I, no I, I think you're great, though. I just... <laughs> <laughs> just better dead. Who else voted to kill? I did. But or eliminate. I'm sorry. Eliminate. I'm sorry. Eliminate. I voted to kill the village. Evict I played them. one game with him, and in that game, that MFR was the werewolf. So. I'm, I mean. That's the other werewolf. Hashtag facts. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I, so I have no uh, trust. Ted, Ted being eliminated does surprise me, though. Yeah. Like I, I don't. I felt like now it may have just been a silly question, but you know his question was a little s s suspicious. And but although Patrick, kind of leveraging off that to legitimately go after David, uh, was also in my mind suspicious. But I don't. I still don't understand why. Why Ted had to had to go? <laughs> you gonna be okay? <laughs> you seem a little hurt. Do you need a hug? What's going I on? Think, over there? I honestly <laughs> think Sarah's being too quiet. I, I I was just gonna say I really have a weird feeling about Sarah this game. I'm gonna, I was gonna ask Sarah what time. he thought about Sarah, since y'all know each oh. other. Well, I hope. I are you a werewolf? <laughs> I'm not a werewolf, Will. Oh, she sounded pretty confident, actually. I was um, thinking an eliminate vote. I'm sorry. I've got one, two, eight, and seven. Who was the other one? For what? Eliminate what, that last round. I voted to eliminate. Yeah, I voted I to eliminate. One. Just be, one, two, last two, game, eight, I was seven, a villager, which I also oh, had to say. And 10, time. I thought. We oh. don't eliminate the werewolves. We're going to have the same outcome. Yeah. Dude, are you keeping data on Sarah? Do you Ted? what do you Sarah? Do you do you trust anyone implicitly? Oh, somebody's not telling you. I think at this point, uh, I agree with whoever said Lauren's demeanor changed a little bit. This that round. was me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's um, fair. 
Any anyone else? More or less sketchy though. So so Sarah, that is true. So Sarah, do you trust your husband? Do you think he's a werewolf? Are those two separate questions? (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going there. (laughs) Don't ever trust my husband during board games. Uh. (laughs) We play board games. Um, It's hard to tell at this point. He hasn't said much, but I think he also doesn't like getting eliminated the very first round. So Mm -hmm. I think he's holding back a bit until he makes it a little further in the game. I don't, I can't tell by what I see on screen if, I do have some, some theories on people, but yes, I've definitely been holding back. Oh, I feel, I'll share one. This might put me in a danger spot. I feel like Chris has nominated like four people so far. <laughs> he hasn't gotten any, Chris. hasn't gotten any Chris, seconds. Chris, Chris Goodlin. Good yeah. yeah. He nominated me last round just like as a toss in at the end. Like, oh, nobody <laughs> will. And then nominated Sarah just a second ago. And I was like, what's all the nominations coming from this round? Hey, I didn't nominate Ted. I promise I did not nominate Ted at least. So are you nominating him or are you just pointing out he seems shifty? I'm Will, just pointing out. Okay. Hey, Will, what do you think of Andrea? Uh, she seems to have maintained consistency from last round to this round. That's really all I got. So I mean, you could say I'm a nice person or I'm friendly or something. She I seems mean. like a nice person. <laughs> I, think, and is I think you're a nice person, Andrea, but I actually want to nominate you. I'm going to nominate Andrea. I don't, I, I don't agree with that, Patrick. I don't. Why think- don't you agree? I don't know because you're you're nominating her and I just I don't know. I I think that I think that we should second Andrea and Why are you nominating me? That's my question. I think I think that you're evil. I voted to keep someone in. If I was evil, I'd be voting to keep someone out and have Hmm. we all did that. She has a pineapple in the background. The hot pineapple represents hospitality. It's all about hospitality. I nominate Patrick. I second I second the Patrick. I second (laughs) Patrick. Patrick, yeah. Thank Patrick, you, I think that backfired on you, sir. <laughs> it, it's all it's going to do. I have to sell it hard now, buddy. Hey, guys. That's- Perfect. Okay, so we have a nomination on Patrick with two seconds remaining in the day. Um, so after this, we'll have two seconds remaining. Patrick, you'll have one minute for your defense. Proceed. All right. So the backfire, hopefully, is going to not come with the village because I am the seer, and I did not want to say that. So I'm looking at you, Chris. <laughs> number 12 but i got a clear of will on night zero okay and i got a hit of andrea last night oh so in what? these two seconds before you <laughs> when you keep me alive in these two seconds i need will and me to first and second andrea immediately okay and we need oh my to gosh, kill the pressure I might, I might trust you on that one then I don't uh, trust you on. anymore. And as soon as Andrea okay, dies, I, I, I think everyone should question Chris because he's the one that didn't like the fact that I was questioning Andrea. Oh. When logic oh. dictates, oh. I have possibly checked. checked her. You can check you know me what? the next night. You know right, I'm calling you the next night. I'm calling. I you gotta say that checks okay. out. So mm-hmm. guys, the vote has been called. Patrick has called the vote. We're gonna put our hands out like this. You keep your hand up for life. You put your hand down for death. Everyone close your eyes and we will vote in three, two, one, vote. Uh, Okay, everyone can wake up. Um, Raise your hands if you voted for life, which is everybody I believe, except for Andrea. Put your hands down, voted if you voted for death. Throw me under the bus, I mean. (laughs) What choice did she have? Right. The day First on Andrea, first on Andrea. Second, Andrea. Okay, uh, so you have less than a second left. Andrea, you are on defense. Please defend yourself. So Make it good. I, I want to trust you. I was a villager last time. I'm a villager this time. No special <clears throat> role. Um, I don't have anything interesting on that, but Patrick tried to throw me under the bus, so I'm going to vote him down. First round, I voted to keep um, whoever, who did we vote on last time? I don't even remember now. I'm losing my mind. I voted to keep that person in so that we didn't lose someone. If I was a wolf, I would have been like, ooh, easy way to pick somebody off. Cool. Oh, whoops, they're gone. I didn't do that. I have been trying to help keep people in. I've been asking questions to get information, to try to help us get more information, because when you're asleep all night, you know nothing. It's not even like, you know, oh, I'm the seer. I can sneak stuff. I know nothing. So I'm trying to gather information for all of us. And that is my defense. Please vote for me to live. 
Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, please stick your hands out. Remember, your hand down is death. Your hand staying up is for life. And Andrew, you can vote for yourself. Perfect. Everybody votes in three, two, one, vote. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone can open their eyes. If you voted for life, raise your hand. I think that that is Tim, Chris, and Andrea. And Lauren, I believe, right? If you voted for, you can put your hands down. If you voted for death, please raise your hands. That is the majority. Andrea has died during the day, so she publicly reveals as a werewolf. Mm, okay. She publicly okay. reveals as a werewolf, and she may turn her camera off, and we're going to go into the night phase, and we're going to go into the night phase. Nice Excellent. Time, you guys. <laughs> okay, so my, everybody's eyes are closed. Everybody's eyes are closed. My remaining werewolves, my dire wolf and assassin wolf, please wake up. My assassin wolf and dire wolf, please wake up. Please pick somebody to murder. I need a consensus. I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep. Okay, next, my seer. My seer, please wake up. My seer, please wake up. Please pick somebody to scan. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you did not find a wolf. And you may go to sleep. Okay, everybody is asleep. Everybody can wake up. And sadly, Patrick has died. Patrick, ah, surprise, surprise. Okay. <laughs> so he does not reveal. Day timer will start here momentarily. One moment. You guys have five minutes. Proceed. So who voted to save Andrea? I voted to save her, but that's because she lives near me and she brings good snacks. <laughs> I voted too. I, I voted too because I wasn't sure of who after that. Yeah, it was. I, I, actually, I actually do believe that Patrick was a seer. And if, he's saying, and if he's saying that Will was a villager, then I'm agreeing with him on that. I agree. I, yeah. I, I haven't voted to eliminate anybody yet, but um, I'm trying to find, I'm sorry, Lauren and Chris have voted down to eliminate every single time so far. Talking about Chris Ray, not me. Not this Chris, guy. Chris Ray, yes. Okay. Chris, Chris Ray and Lauren. First of all, I don't remember what I did the first time. And second of all, I voted to keep Andrea because she brings good snacks. She makes fruit salsa, you guys. Fruit salsa. That sounds really good. Like like uh, I, I, I didn't vote to eliminate Patrick. You you uh, have because the the very first round I, I was writing down the numbers. No, the, there was only one vote to eliminate Patrick, and that was Andrea. That's true. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's you have true. your data wrong, buddy. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just this last one. You're right. I'm sorry. Trust this data. Tim, are you, sure, are you sure? Are you sure you didn't vote, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, but do we do we trust people who eat fruit salsa with werewolves? <laughs> or, or just in general? <laughs> like, even if she's a villager, do we really want her around? Fruit salsa. Come on. I'm totally not a werewolf. So I, I hate to throw shade at Chris Goodlett, but he was defended an awful lot. Last I'm sorry. Round. I'm sorry. <laughs> I honestly am just playing off off of just out in the you right field. Voted so to keep her fun. alive. Yeah, I voted to keep her alive because I'm trying to be nice because I don't want to get killed at the next night. Oh. I don't I, you know what? I'm I'm with Will. I'm a little. I find Chris good little little sketchy. Yeah, I nominate. A little sketchy. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Not personally. Yeah. I'll yeah, second I, the nomination. I think I think I think Chris deserves a minute to defend himself. You know. In okay. truth, so just real quick, who are the two people mm -hmm. nominated? I haven't started your defense yet. Who nominated? So we have Chris Ray nominated. Mm -hmm. Who else? And Jeremy. Excellent. You have been nominated. Chris, you have a minute to defend yourself. All right. All I got to say is I'm a villager. I'm just making accusations left and right for the fun of the game because there's nothing better than watching your friends and family die, um, especially in a game of werewolf. So, you know, it's it's the one thing you can do. 
but no, uh, I have not voted to kill anybody every single round. So basically I'm the, I am the optimist of the group. So, but I agree that Patrick was probably a seer. I agree that Will is a villager. Um, I don't know about Chris Ray. I don't know about Lauren. And I still feel that there's that, that one of uh, possibly Marty or Sarah are werewolves. I'm just so, going to go with that. So. You didn't nominate anyone to die or to be eliminated? Oh, no, I nominated people left and right to die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not a problem. That's just fun. <laughs> but yeah. Hmm. I nominated everybody. Basically, I've nominated every single person as we've gone through this game. I think I have not nominated Lauren yet. Okay, guys, and that is time for Chris Skillet's defense. One moment while I pause the clock. So we're going to put our hands up. Uh, hands up is normal. If you keep your hand up, it's for life, down for death. Uh, five will eliminate Chris. So close your eyes and voting in three, two, one, vote. Okay, and everybody can open their eyes. And it appears that Chris... Chris has died. Chris, if you voted for life, keep your hands up so everyone can see Chris and Tim. Uh, you can put your hands down. If you voted for death, please raise your hands, which is everybody else, I believe. Okay, Chris has died during the day, and Chris reveals as a villager. And oh! As a villager. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris! <laughs> and everybody oh, can no. everybody. It totally throws me off. Does. I feel terrible. But again... Again, Lauren and okay, guys, 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 you can talk about it in the next phase when you're alive or dead. If you're dead, you can sadly not talk about this though. So everyone goes to sleep. Everybody, oh, goes to oh, sleep. what if we talk in our sleep? Everybody <laughs> goes to sleep. <laughs> okay, my assassin wolf and my dire wolf, please wake up. Please wake up. It's time for you to pick somebody to eliminate. I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep and you may go to sleep. Okay. Next up, my seer, my seer, please wake up. My seer, please wake up. Please pick somebody to scan. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you have not found a wolf. I think you understand. And my seer can go to sleep. Everybody is asleep. Everybody can wake up. Please no talking until the night phase has been resolved. And sadly, David has been eliminated. <laughs> oh. He died at night, so he does not reveal. Bye, David. You have five minutes starting now. Proceed. Okay. It's, see, I'm telling you, it's it's Lauren and Chris again. You Who can did... suck it. It is not me. <laughs> <laughs> Who did David nominate? <laughs> what put him in the hot seat? What's yeah, that? I don't know. Who did David nominate? I don't think he nominated anybody. anybody. No. That's kind of weird, Ben. So I'm really torn because I thought for sure it was Chris Goodlett, and then uh, Tim has been voting to keep him alive every round. And so Tim was going to be my second guess, but Tim... Yeah. But I'm really know. telling you, Warren and Chris, that's what I've been watching. I've been writing the numbers down, and they... Well, maybe not that one time, but every other time they've been voting to take people out. Probably yeah, I, have been, because that's the kind of person I, I am. Yeah, that's just how I play, Tim. Uh, but I, so at this point, we have a hunter and we have a cutthroat and there's no seer, we don't think. And so why don't the cutthroat and the hunter come out? I mean, it's not like they're hunting for anybody at night. Then we would have two safe villagers and that give, increases our odds of catching a werewolf. But what does the hunter, what does the cutthroat do again? They, they can kill one of the players on either side of them. Oh, so, look at them. Oh, okay. So if we have two, two, specials come out oh i'm the hunter i'm the cutthroat <laughs> okay i'm a villager and so my plan was to take out chris if somebody voted for me but now i'm like oh now i'm starting over for who i think is the other two werewolves so wait the seer said will is safe so the whole well, top row on my side is safe well chris, wait this chris guy over is, here chris isn't necessarily safe he just got you guys to no but i mean it, it that actually probably that i mean we know that they're safe 
So that really helps the village because they they can't. I mean, if we don't kill them during the day, then the the village is like odds on favor to win at this point. There's uh, no way Chris, Sarah, and Lauren were slick enough to in the middle of the night be like, "You do this, I'll do this, I'll ask the question." Right? True, that, did, that didn't happen. <laughs> but, but true. But think about it. But then why is Chris asking people to reveal themselves? I'm telling you, it's Lauren and Chris. So I, I wait. Who's Chris. next to me? Who's I next know. to me? I think I am one of next He's three i'm and one so i've got three and then loop back around who's the tim. highest number left? Sarah. it is tim oh, yeah, tim, tim. It's tim. tim tim and marty mm -hmm. i nominate chris marty tell us about your uh werewolf activities at night well so what i've been on oh you almost got me <laughs> <laughs> marty if you were the werewolf would you have been kind enough to change your shirt for us that's what i want to know yes Okay. I, I, and I trust you. Don't trust me. I'm the werewolf. I, I, I have to nominate Tim. He's an extremely talented player. I've played with him before. And I mean, he's taken notes and he, I mean, he, he made a missed call and I had a good enough memory to call him out on it. And now he's just suspicious of sound logic. Like I, I, I nominate Tim. Well, hold, hold on. So are, are the specials, are you, do y'all want to use your ability now? Well, I can only use mine when I die. So when I die, oh, I take out somebody, okay. no matter okay. if it's at night or during the day, I believe. Who are you thinking about taking out if you die? Well, it's I'm down to Jeremy, Tim, Marty, and Chris. So <laughs> wow, I have a okay. pretty great chance of picking, because only one of those is not a werewolf. Okay, so Sarah, you, 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 you is. So Sarah, you have strong feelings for Chris as well. I said they were one of the four probable... <laughs> I love the Chris versus Tim action. Keep it up. Who's got yeah. that? Yeah. What, what, how much time we got left? It's not one of four probable, Tim. It's one of four possible because <laughs> me and Lauren aren't lying or there would be a counter. Yeah, but she's, I'm just saying she feels the same way about you that, that I do because like I said, it's, it's been Lauren and Chris, in my opinion, the two. No, and Sarah, I feel I'm the same way as she does, but I, yeah, but I don't feel the same way as you do, Tim. Listen, I'm, um, for the sake of, of, of time, I'm going to a second Chris's nomination of, Tim, of uh, Tim and give, uh, I want to hear his defense. Okay, the timer has changed to the defense timer. Tim, you'll have one minute to defend yourself. Tim, proceed. Okay, I am just a plain vanilla vill uh, villager, uh, as they say, a plain uh, villager. And like I said, I've been keeping track. And I've noticed that every time, because that's what you're supposed to do, right? Is try to see where people are voting. And Lauren and Chris have been voting for the people to um, uh, be eliminated. I kept, uh, I'm sorry, I think it was Chris. Is that his name? The last person? Yes. I voted. I was, it was him and I were the only ones to vote to keep him alive. So, and he was an actual villager. And again, those two keep voting people out. Sarah felt the same way. It's not me. Um, I say you should keep me alive and then we, I will nominate Chris again and somebody second it and let's get him out. Wow. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> oh, and, and so Tim, your defense has come to a close. So now we are going to vote on Tim. Everybody, please put your hands out. Remember life is keeping your hand up. Death is putting it down. Everyone's eyes are closed. Everyone close your eyes and we will vote in three two, one, vote. Okay, everyone can open your eyes. And it looks like Ooh. we have three for life. Everybody who voted for life can raise their hands. And we have, you can put your hands down. Uh, Marty, you think you also voted for life as well, correct? Uh, yeah, that logic sounded good to me, but I guess yeah. not. And then you may vote who voted for death. Please raise your hand if you voted for death. That's all I do is I vote for death. <laughs> or is it enough to kill Tim? Tim has died during the day. Let me just confirm my Give notes. me some information. And Tim has died as the assassin. Oh! Wolf. Oh! Now, Tim, Tim has an, a triggered ability that goes off. Tim, please pick one of your neighbors to eliminate. <sighs> Who was that? <laughs> it's Sarah that and Chris. Me and Chris. Uh, Who are they? And Vengeance is Sarah and Lauren. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, sorry, Felix. Who is that, Felix? It's Sarah and Lauren. Sarah and Lauren. Lauren. Correct. Oh, yes. boy. Sarah and Lauren. Oh. 
Sarah and Lauren. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have, even though I, yes, I'm going to have to go with Sarah because you didn't follow along with your intuition and take Chris out for me like I was hoping you would on that last okay, thing. Okay, so uh, sorry, Sam, Tim has died. Sarah has died next. Sarah has a triggered ability as well. Uh-oh, <laughs> the whole game is going down right now. <laughs> Uh, Tim, if you could turn your camera off, you are oh, dead. Sorry, Sarah, sorry. It is now your turn to eliminate somebody okay. uh, if you have died. You could take out Lauren or Chris. What the hell, man? Uh, what are you, can what are you coming guys, for me? Guys, guys, can I? There's no, no talking. talking. Exactly, no. <laughs> what game is this? <laughs> um, I'm going to vote for Jeremy. Okay, and Jeremy has been eliminated. Jeremy reveals as a villager. Jeremy reveals as a villager. You guys can turn I kind of want it there for the village. <laughs> Sorry, <that>. everyone. <laughs> Everybody, uh, Jeremy and Sarah, you can turn your cameras off, and we are going to go to sleep, and we are going to go to sleep. Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay, and my werewolves, my werewolves, please wake up. My werewolves, please wake up. Please pick somebody to eliminate. I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. And you may go to sleep. Next up, my seer. My seer, please wake up. My seer, please wake up. Please pick somebody to scan. If I give you a thumbs up, you found a wolf. If I give you a thumbs down, you did not find a wolf. And my seer, you may go to sleep. Everybody is asleep. Everybody can wake up. Please no talking until the night phase has been resolved. And Lauren has been eliminated. Lauren oh, what? Died at night, so she does not reveal. And Day she was. She'll have five minutes. And she is was there still cutthroat. So she could have taken somebody out. Oh, I can take somebody with me. Can oh, she now? Can I, can I now? You're muted. Yeah. My oh, friend, I... The cutthroat can only use their ability during the day. So unfortunately, <sighs> assuming Bad panda. Have... Oh my gosh, I can't believe that uh, I, I was know. revealed to start off at the beginning. They have kept me alive to just watch me murder all of my friends and family. <laughs> Which one of you is it? Give me your- This give me is defenses. so weird. I got the point. swing vote. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I feel good about you. <laughs> I should feel good about you because you were, you were the seer person. I don't know. Who, who you? What, what? I don't know. Everybody was, everybody. Stuff, everybody was nominating Chris <laughs> earlier, so yeah, Tim was. Like I caught the last werewolf. Yeah, maybe that's true. Did you convince me of that? <laughs> Would you kill one of your own friends, exterminate them, eliminate them, just to convince me? I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I don't. I don't either. Marty's not even trying. Well, I, yeah, it's it's a guessing game at this point. We're, we're all going to just lie really well. We've all been somewhat quiet. We haven't been throwing a lot of people under the bus. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this this is it, right? I mean, whatever we decide right now, the game will end, I assume, right? One way or the other. So. Yeah, I nominate Will. What? <laughs> Hey, it's not me. I'll nominate Will. <laughs> no, that's not even a possibility. Oh my gosh. I was thinking like, okay, all I got to do is pick one or the other. Okay, so Will, gonna... Will, 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 you have been put on defense. You have one minute to defend yourself. Wow. <laughs> that's so crazy. All right. I'm definitely not the werewolf. I, I feel like that goes without saying. I feel like Marty's been a little shifty over there, so my my vote could easily go to him, Chris. Well, it's because I'm really wanting to eat this moon yeah, pie yeah. right here. I was going to share it with somebody, but you know. I mean, if you are the werewolf, you obviously want to trick me because then you win. Right? So if you aren't the werewolf, you want to team up with me, but you don't even feel like you can trust me? I, it's not, I can't talk right now. It's not my defense. <laughs> <laughs> I need answers. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know. I don't even, I, I'm so befuddled by who to vote for. This is tough that, position. And they're just leaving me out to dry. Love it. That's all I got. Keep me alive if you want to, the villagers to win. 
Well, this will be an interesting vote. Okay, and with that, your time has run out, so we are going to put up our hands. Uh, if you drop your hand, you're voting for death. If you keep your hand up, you're voting for life. Everybody close your eyes, and we will vote in three, two, one, vote. Okay, everyone open your eyes, and <laughs> Will has it's been insane. Will died during the day, so he oh. reveals as a villager and uh, the werewolves can now raise their hands and take their bow as they have won the game. Both the werewolves? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> and Marty, werewolves have won the game. Excellent. I am Chris, Marty, he was my clear. Five. Chris, where were you, man? He was my clear. <laughs> Vote for life. <laughs> Did you lie, dog? He was Did my knight. Think I was clear. a werewolf? I'm sorry, Jeremy. I felt like I could. I. It was between you and Marty, and I picked the wrong person. We would have won had I picked Marty. It's, oh, it's an important life, life lesson. From here on out, Marty is always sketchier. He <laughs> did not <laughs> even change his shirt. Well <laughs> done, though, Marty. Uh, so, so first, first couple things. A Andrea, I'm sorry I threw you under the bus. I thought- Dude, it's totally no, fair. I don't no even way. blame you, man. Here's where I was stuck, uh, Will and Chris. Chris, you were my companion. If you died, I oh. died. It had to be Will. That's the only way wow. I could have won. Oh. Wow. Oh. Brilliant. Oh, that's great. That's Thank impressive. you for nominating Will. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, I'm just going to wait to see who nominates because obviously that person, you know, will give away a cue. Nope. That was insane. Chris, awesome. is this like guilty? What happened? <laughs> Well, it's definitely the wolf's night. Who is the lichen? It was. Uh, the lichen was Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I almost checked you, Sarah, and I checked Andrea instead. So I'm glad I actually hit a wolf. <laughs> Good. Good I'm glad I didn't end up as the lichen. I thought for sure that's who. Tim, it was. you that's... played that beautifully at the start, and then I, I was like, I was like, it can't be Tim. It can't be Tim. Then I finally, I was like, it's got to be Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought it was real funny because Lauren was like, I'm definitely going to kill somebody when she revealed and she was between two wolves. And I was like, oh, that's bad for wolves. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was sweating that a lot for you guys. That's, that's awesome. hilarious. I'm sorry, Chris. You just looked so guilty. I couldn't. Uh... I know. <laughs> I should have taken somebody out. Well, Lauren, was <laughs> failed. Lauren, was be Lauren was between two wolves, so she looked either way. She would have taken somebody out. That that's what it was. I know. Why did I hesitate? Uh... Yeah, she would have uh... killed a wolf. Either way, she would have killed someone. And like she came out, she's like, and I'm like, you could tell that she was like thinking about who she was gonna kill, and then you got dominated too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, great guys, thank you all for uh, joining us and participating in this. I hope you had a good time. It was actually so entertaining to watch. That was probably the best <laughs> final three we could have had, especially with the companion in there. Like it was, yeah. it was yeah. so good to watch. Um, but. Uh, I was going to let Ted have the floor for just another minute to talk a little bit about the app that's going to be available with this game um, and pitch just a little bit more for a minute if you guys want to hang out and then we'll yeah. say goodbye to yeah. everybody. And if you guys have any questions for Ted, you guys can um, put up your hand symbol the same way you would if you wanted to say something. We can ask Ted a couple questions if you guys want, and then uh, we will finish up at uh, after that. So, Ted, the floor is yours. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, guys. That, that was awesome. I felt very, 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 very bad for our poor village because that was, that was a sad <laughs> ending, but excellent job world. Um, so yeah, Matt was saying about the app and it's one thing I didn't mention before. We have this amazing app that we're, we're currently working on and hope to have it done uh, in the next couple of months. Um, that's part of World Extreme. Stream. Um, you'll notice that on the back of all of our cards, there are now going to be this tiny little micro QR code. And it's small enough that you can't really differentiate them from each other, but they are different on every single card. And the app can actually pick that up. You can actually go around and scan and uh, you'll be able to scan people's roles as a moderator with your phone and bring that right into the app. And uh, we have a little card that people can print their name on that goes right with the, their, their role card. And so this, it'll scan their name, their picture, and that role into the app. And they'll be able to go around and just scan each of those really quickly. It takes a lot less time for night zero. Uh, normally that can take a lot long time. It's not terrible with this many people. Once you get more than, than 10, 15 people, it can take a long time to go through all of that at night. And so it really just you know makes that particular aspect a lot easier. It also has a deck builder. So uh, you know if you have a certain number of people, you wanna know which cards work best, it'll automatically generate a set, a unique set of roles that works really well um, with that size group. 
And then finally, it actually has a little thing where we'll run through. We're going to use uh, Eric Summer again, um, and he's going to be helping to moderate. If you don't feel like speaking or if you don't feel comfortable enough speaking, you can actually just use the app to actually talk through all the different things like where else close your eyes, here open your eyes, indicate someone, et cetera. Um, it'll do that. And it'll also track who's still in the game. So it'll start to eliminate people and you'll you'll know within the app like what the winning conditions are and when you've approached that. So whether you're a brand new to moderating or if you've, you've done a lot of moderating, it's gonna be a really useful tool. So super excited about having that. Um, it's, it's about time that we have like a really useful uh, moderator app, I think. And I'm really excited to have that, um, to, to be bringing that in soon. So that is the app and uh, it's on Kickstarter now for the next week or so. I think it's up until next week. So if anyone's interested, you can hop over to Kickstarter and pack it there. Did we stream this video? That's my question. Yes, this is being so. streamed on our YouTube. Uh, it's also up on the Discord right now. The Discord won't be saved, but the YouTube will be saved. So you can go back and share it and watch it and enjoy all the chaos. Sweet. <laughs> It's, it's just like research. Now that we know who's who, we can go back and watch for tells. Just watch uh, Marty's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it really is. It's, it, once you know who the werewolves are, and then you watch them during the day, and you're like, how is anyone not figuring this out? Yeah. <laughs> no. <I'm> you, <laughs> 2020. So it was so, so the one thing was really funny. And of course, I know because I'm watching this, but when Marty, right, right when um, it, he voted to save Tim, and he's like, oh, I believed him. No one asked Marty, but Marty felt like he had to say something because he was like, I want to keep him alive if possible. And <laughs> no one else caught that, but it was really, I'm like, oh, that was sketchy sounding. But everyone else just, just you know, went right by. But of course, if you're watching, you're like, yeah, of course, you're going to say something because if you feel so guilty. You're like, oh my gosh, they caught me. Um, so just little things like that are a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> All that right. was a lot of fun. Any other yeah. questions for fun. Ted about the app or what's coming with Extreme guys before we wrap everything up and let you guys all go uh, enjoy thinking back through all the games and what you should have done? <laughs> so, how many roles in total are there in the new in the new there edition? I think. No. Well, yes, yeah, so I thought it was some ridiculous. Yeah, obviously, if you included all the expansions, there were about I think seventy some um, before, mm -hmm. and now there's more than a hundred, um, and so a ton of new. Wow. Roles. Like I said, a bunch of the roles are refined, kind of tweaked mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, really excited. We played with some of the fun ones. There's a ton that I'm super excited about. Just, I can't wait to play more with. I can't wait to play in person too. I mean, this is fun. <laughs> Boy, uh, is in good. person, oh, I miss that. So one day yeah. I am. Yeah, when you make eye contact with people, go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I felt a move next to me. Uh, one other question. I think <laughs> I heard somewhere that you can play multiple games of Werewolf with just one pack. Is that true? Yes, you'll be able to play up to three, uh, up to three games. We're going to have enough um, cards in there that you can play three simultaneous games. Um, now, oh. I, you, each person cannot play three simultaneous games. That would be insane and, and kind of silly. But you'll have enough cards for three different games to take place at the same time with just one deck of cards, basically. Awesome. What's your favorite new role? Uh, my favorite new role is definitely Illuminati. Um, that's the one you, probably, you hear about the most probably from other people, too. Uh, the cool thing about that role is it's an independent role. It wins separately of the villagers and the werewolves. But the very first night, they wake up last and they learn the roles of everyone. So they know who's a villager, who's a werewolf, who's a seer, all the special roles. And their goal is just to be one of the last three players in the game. And it sounds like, well, how could you not be? Because you can manipulate them, you know who everyone is. But just keeping track of even, even here, you know, I don't know if people were watching, just keeping track of the special roles. There's not that many, but keeping track of that is difficult. But when you're also, you're trying to keep track and also not make it look like you know stuff, you know, mm -hmm. you don't want to say, yeah. yeah, we should vote that person out. They seem like a werewolf because, well, they're like, well, how did you know that? You're either the Seer or the Illuminati. So that's a problem. So you have to slowly balance the game so it gets down to, well, you are one of the last three players. And that's super exciting and fun. And um, just the fact that there's an Illuminati when you're not the Illuminati in the game is also kind of terrifying because you know that they're still working around and trying to uh, run things in the background. So that that's my favorite deck one. Mm -hmm. Can I ask something real quick? Felix, did somebody, weren't you talking or somebody asked you that you're making a book or something? Oh, oh yeah. I, I, I'm gonna jump in for you, Felix here. So Felix is is editing and, and partially writing a, a 200 plus page strategy guide that we're including with the Kickstarter. So we have to uh, you back Kickstarter, you're gonna get that. So um i think chris we were talking earlier chris was like how could you there's that much information about werewolf but 
you'd be amazed. And uh, the stuff so far, we've gotten about, uh, about, I guess about half of it in so far, and it's just awesome. It is good, good stuff. Um, oh. Very excited about that. And it's only going to be available with the Kickstarter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I may have heard this wrong, but was there something that was being added to the game to where if you happen to be the first person out, you still get to participate somehow? There is. There's a, a player item, as I said before, about those 3D minis. You can get the 3D minis at the super end, or you can kind of get the cardboard version at the regular one. Uh, one of them is called the Ivory Tower. And uh, if you're the first person eliminated, you get the Ivory Tower. And the next game, that prevents you from being the first person eliminated in the next game. Mm. And okay. it, it's not, it, while that's cool, what's even better is it kind of gives you free license to really do or say anything that first day because you know nobody can get you. So uh, you can, it, normally everyone's a little hesitant because no one wants to go out first on that first day. No one wants to vote it out the first day. And uh, that, that freedom is, is really interesting. It's a little intoxicating for anyone. <laughs> I can say as a writer that it has a prolific impact. And one of the biggest fears for new players is being eliminated. And so usually if we run in sets of three, being able to pass that around to players has a big impact. And it's been noticeable because it started out, I think, in Legacy. Uh, and a lot of people in ATL used it after that fact uh, because it was such a useful implement sort of in getting new players to play. So I can vouch for it at least. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you, everybody, again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close off the stream and shut it down. So I appreciate you guys all hanging out today, and I hope you guys had as much fun playing as I did watching. But thank you all, and uh, thank you, everybody, watching, and have an awesome werewolfy night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice. Thanks for modding, Felix. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Go nice